Oh! <laughs> hey, everybody, my name is Mayhem! I'm Jinsu. I'm Rosie! <laughs> no, you're oh, not! I'm Duke. <laughs> and today we're back with another episode of Fossil Fighters! And we're almost done with the game, but we're still here! <laughs> yeah. And we did a lot of stuff, and now we're back. And we are Master Rank now. <laughs> <laughs> you were so wanting to. A wagon! Perfect timing! You know those idols that the BB Bandits were after? Turns out, they do have a hidden secret. I remember this distinctly, Jinzu, you'd hate this. <laughs> Wait, so, is, are, is our character wearing a hat, or is our hair blasting through the hat? I think it's a hat that It's an we, open hat. That it's a top hat that got its ass blown out. Yeah, there you go. We technically have, like, really long hair. <laughs> they're not just old statues, they're advanced technology and sign that no one's ever seen before. Real quick, actually, let me grab something. Uh, no! There's your answer. Oh, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's hair. That's really dumb. It's yeah. inspired. They made this after Ruby and Sapphire. Jeez. You okay? <laughs> yeah. They made this after Ruby and Sapphire where the kid had the hair. How Brendan. can you tell? Brendan. Did you know they made it after? Could you imagine? Better Pokemon graphics. Like <laughs> what? Could you imagine if Pokemon looked like this? And they had like really shitty 3D models of Pokemon like in Pokemon Stadium. It would have Sorry, so, so far much away more. Away from Mike. <laughs> it would have so much more charm. <laughs> Uh, but I was gonna say another thing of um, uh, do you say that it was made after Ruby and Sapphire because of the fact that the opening title screen is Ruby and Sapphire's opening title screen? And it's also on the DS. <laughs> Dr. Tiggins has them over in the secret lab now doing some testing. Let's go see what's going on. She mentioned that those idols are ancient technology. Ancient technology? What? What? We might even find out more no about way. Dina and what she's all about. We just go in and Dr. Diggins is just chewing on it. <laughs> it's tasty. The secret lab is over in the basement of the Richmond building. Let's go. Okay. Wee -wee. Wee -wee -wee. I decided to go the long way. The fact that I never knew until now that I am doing a impression of the female lead. What the fuck? What the fuck? It's just a normal crocodile. Hi, dog. doggy. <laughs> just like bullseye and womp rats. <laughs> what is that? An aardvark? A beaver with a tail injury? A gerbil that's been working out? It's a Leopluridon, Rosie. A magical Leopluridon. Woo! <laughs> I guess it looks more like a huge mouse. Blech! What is it? Bye, Rosie. Ugh! <laughs> what was that for her or was that for the fucking monster? Her, with my step pig running around, what in the world has the cleaning lady been doing with her time? We should yeah. fire her. Was that the noise complaint? <laughs> yeah. Wait. No, we're good. The cleaning lady is usually here by now. Where is she? Hey, look. Listen. <laughs> the tree's blocking the entrance to the secret lab gone. Excuse me, Mr. Guard? Oh! The, 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 the beam! Sque, 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 squeak! The fuck? Get a hold of yourself, man! No! <laughs> this is a secret lab underground! What about the other grass secret lab? The, the, the beam! Sque, squeak! Can, if we hear it again, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna push him into the river. Okay, this guy's pretty much useless. Wagon, let's just head down to the secret underground lab. My voice is going. <laughs> <laughs> Already. Because it's, it's her. <laughs> I like how we're, we're just going around. It's the secret underground lab. What the? Why doesn't he look like kind of a person? <laughs> Why does he, he look rejects his humanity? Like that. Yeah! What, what? I said, uh, what? In the butt? Really? Rock! Why? <laughs> Hello, humans. My name is Raptin. <laughs> How'd we get wrapped in this one? I have taken the liberty of letting myself in. Thank you. You like my green vest? Hey! It's private property! What are you doing here? Explain yourselves! Ah, how to explain in such a way that you will understand. We are... Dinarians. Dinorians. Dinorians. A superior life form. I'm literally him. First, I should thank you for collecting all the sub 
idol comps for us. You actually got it right. <laughs> Clearly, we should have hired you from the beginning instead of that useless bold. Uh, uh, uh. Hired us? Wait, you hired the baby bandits to look for those tangy idols? Connecting timeline? What? Story? Yes, sub idol comps, actually. We require them to take some adjustments to an experiment. <laughs> this experiment, you might be interested to know, involves wiping humans off the face of the Earth. Remember when this was just Jurassic Park Pokemon? Now we got aliens! Dinosaur aliens. Whoa, whoa, slow down! You can't possibly have said what I thought you said. Wait a minute. Ah. Alola. Ah. Aliens. Ah. Dude, <laughs> another, st another stolen concept! But this time it's from... <laughs> This time, Fossilfighters came up with it first. I assure you I did, and I meant it. I suggest finding some way to occupy yourselves until your time comes. I'm just gonna go play cards in the corner while the end of humanity happens. He's got a gun. <laughs> That's just a straight up gun. <laughs> yeah, Jinzu, he's got a gun. For example, uh, you could practice scurrying all around on all fours. Dance, little humans. <laughs> Squeak, squeak! Wow, that hurt. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> Interesting. Did the beam actually work? I have such trouble telling one mammal from another. Uh, I think that they're different. What do you think, Jitsu? Do the do, does Rosie look different now? No. <laughs> so got the hat. You you look like you like got a thousand yards there, man. Because he hates a thousand his... yards there. Just just. <laughs> no. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Uh, yeah, no, that's her new voice while in this form. Squeak. <laughs> Stop it. Do not bite me, you filthy beast. By the way, when I she say that... She with an actual gun. <laughs> yeah. She grabs the gun and turns him into just a dinosaur. <laughs> but I was going to say, uh, when it comes down to it, uh, I know you watched uh, s uh, some video on uh, this game a way while back. Uh-huh. Uh, this is one of those things I'm glad that the video did not spoil. Okay. Oh, So primitive and brutish as I kick a dog. Now, you are next! Uh, Martin, we have the idol camps. Let's hurry and get back to the ship. Just leave him alone. <laughs> get out of the way, Duna. Unless you care to revisit some earlier branches of the family tree. <laughs> Take this! He just pistol whips us. Oh! <laughs> Bog. Get a bit of an eyebrow. A unibrow. Hmm. Must be out of power. Oh well. It should at least keep him knocked out for a while. No, you microwaved my brain! Yeah! So, Duna, shall we return to the ship? <laughs> There's my teleporter! Must have fallen out of my neck somewhere. Duna, let me use your teleporter. Thanks. Okay, <laughs> bye. I will go first. Welcome, <laughs> Rosie. I'm so sorry. Hi, Jerry. <laughs> I didn't mean to turn you into fucking animals. So, uh, yeah, thoughts on, uh, Rosiesaurus? Uh. Could be funnier. Could be funnier. He starts eating him. Squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> this is my room. <laughs> yeah, she just led us to her room. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Oh wait, I still got the dog translator. Fuck you. <laughs> squeak. <laughs> now, whatever you do, don't let my daughter turn into you. <laughs> Rich man! Dr. Wiley. The good. <laughs> Who are those two on the security camera? Do they mean by dino- What do they mean by dino runes? I got to find Dr. Wowie. <laughs> dino runes. Hmm. Could these be humanoids that somehow <laughs> evolved from dinosaurs? Very interesting. This is all just speculation, of course. A game theory. A game theory! 
One thing is for sure, these Dinorians have technology far beyond ours. Better than yours, Dickens? That is impressive. <laughs> and you're the smartest guy I know! Dr. Richmond, or Mr. Richmond, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a fact! Do you think they have something to do with this secret site? What? <laughs> when did I get a new dog? <laughs> oh, fuck it! You're awake! Walk it. <laughs> we saw what happened in the secret laboratory. It was recorded on the security cameras. We didn't do anything to stop him. I'm telling you to go through that, son. Ten. Dad? What the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> Take this thing outside, shoot it behind the shed. It's Rosie, though, who I'm really worried about. What have they done to her? Squike! I. Long. Da, da, Rosie. I wish I could make you feel better. I wish I could touch you with my real arms. Oh, my swike cheese, right? <laughs> I'll go get some. Cheese, Grubbin! With all due respect, Mr. Richmond, Rosie did not get turned into a mouse. <sighs> yeah, what the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> she was turned into a trichodonta. Trichodonta. Triconodonta. Triconodonta. A chickenodonta? <laughs> With that, a chikoma. She turned into a. Chikonodontas <laughs> were ancient creatures that were predecessors to some modern mammals. The way that hit Rosie must somehow revert creatures to earlier evolutionary forms. Hell yeah. Put another way, if Axia turns into a monkey. <laughs> I like the idea of them shooting somebody, but it's not enough energy, so it sends them back to being a Neanderthal, Neanderthal, and they just end up clubbing him to death. <laughs> they get huger. <laughs> <laughs> this will make you weaker. <laughs> oh, been so oh no, he got stupider and stronger. There's nothing we can do. The stupid makes him feel his pain. <laughs> That's utterly terrifying! <laughs> what a devastating weapon! Why? Yes. <laughs> we'll have to take that dino, dino being's threat to wipe humans off the face of the earth seriously. I only wish you knew more about them, if only to understand their motivations better. Better? Better. Uh, uh, shit on the floor! So. <laughs> Gave you an odd looking pendant. She saw a thing! What's that thing? <laughs> yeah, Dr. Diggins. <laughs> oh god, look at the the underbite Dr. Diggins has at his side profile. Hmm. Could this belong to the Dinoids? <laughs> uh, she stole his uh, teleporter, yeah. Yes, that's it. Rosie must have taken it when she bit that Dinorian man. On the ass. Good girl, Rosie. Way to keep your head in a crisis. <laughs> <laughs> There's a switch on it. Hmm. It looks like some sort of electronic device. The one of the many. Now, Dickens, don't you go pressing buttons. We don't know what that thing could turn people into. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I'm not that careless. <laughs> <laughs> the main character I am! <laughs> Oh, cool, he's sneezing. <laughs> In my face! Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Click. That fucking moron. Oh, darn, I, I accidentally pressed the button. Turns out I was like. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when you press the button? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> like that dog that sounds like the Time Fighter. <laughs> Oh my god! Check it out! Starship! Da -da -da -da. What just happened? Where are we? Where the fuck are we? <laughs> Rolling around at the speed of I don't believe it. We're in space! And we're moving really fucking fast in space! <laughs> <laughs> in space! We're gonna go back to Earth in 40 years! <laughs> <laughs> I hate that! I, that's such a relative. I hate relativity. Einstein can go fuck himself. <laughs> so this pendant is some sort of teleportation device then. Cool. <laughs> but wait, this spaceship. 
is this the Dinorian base? And where where in the galaxy is it? Where in the damn tootin' hell is it? It's a rave! <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey guys, uh, looks like you forgot to turn off your disguises. You know the rules. Holography disguise devices must be turned off inside the mothership. Or is there some other reason you look like humans? Like you're actually real humans that sneaked aboard somehow. <laughs> oh, I'm only joking. Come on. What are the odds that real humans could get out here into orbit? Sheesh. Sheesh. <laughs> Sheesh. Anyway, shut off the holography devices, okay? He was hot. <laughs> Woo. That was close. <laughs> we can't stay here looking like this. Let's get back to Earth. Bye! <laughs> oh, wait, no, I'm still outside the... <laughs> Rips his atoms to pieces. <laughs> so you go back where you teleported from? Yeah. Yeah. How convenient. Diggins? Walking? <laughs> Don't scare me like that. You just melted away in front of me. What happened? What happened? You won't believe it, but we were teleported to a spaceship. Apparently the Dinorian mothership. I would apparently be 50 years older now. <laughs> They're clearly insane. Put them in jail. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we need to go back. That spaceship is our key to finding out more about the Dinorians. Strap a tail to my butt and call me a Dinorian. But we're gonna need disguises. Some way to avoid looking too... human. Why don't we just send the dinosaurs into the teleporter? And then the entire dinosaurs just are in and they start killing everybody. Mm. You mean the dinosaurs get to fight the dinosaurs? And it'd be <laughs> awesome. And it could be King Kong versus dinosaurs? What? I have an idea. What, what if we just don't do that? Am I the monkey? <laughs> Woo! I don't know if this is strange sense of honor, I will allow it, but you get a saw head for his mouth. <laughs> it is an extremely high quality mask that just might do the trick. You never know. Walken, I want you to go over to Fossil Stadium and ask Sawhead if you can borrow his mask. No. I'll be over in the Fossil Center running some tests on this device. You know the Fossil Center that you've been in the Fossil Center with? Come meet me at the fossil center as soon as you get the mask. Good luck. Wait, we're supposed to be wearing masks all throughout the game. How do you feel, Jim, to do so much talking to yourself? There. <laughs> it's just like old times. <laughs> I remember when I always talked to myself. Oh, God. What is mask lady? Yeah. Tired of how you look? Ah, gold. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't. It's the Buddha fruit. How do you feel, Genzu, about this? <laughs> the Can you mask? pick any? Does it matter? Of these three, yeah. But the 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 fish one lets you breathe underwater. <laughs> You're looking good. Time to face the world. Good luck out there. Ooh. Oh, banana. I am Yakub. Udaba. <laughs> 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 Buy a mask. Do you buy this? Yeah, definitely mask have a look. equipment came in. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just, what happened to my face? I can look like a uh, full South Park character. Yeah. Now go get, go get the dinosaur one. Yeah. Also, could we have been wearing this mask the entire time? Maybe. <laughs> I actually talked to her a way while back and I didn't see it, so I think it popped in probably a couple chapters ago, but I don't know. Because I love this mask, I would never want to take it off. Well, we're going to have to put on a dinosaur mask. Oh! For the fate of the humankind of the world? No, actually, just for entertainment. Hi! Fuck, what voice did I give him? Hey! Ah! <laughs> he told me to expect a visit from you. He says you need to borrow a mask. My voice was different last time, I'm pretty sure. Do you realize what you're asking? You might as well ask to borrow my face. My face? <laughs> Most people who ask our head for a favor like that would get a world of pain. For you gave trouble. me a mask last time. 
Shut up! For a master fighter like you, I might be an exception. But I can't just hand her over. You God, you got real quiet first. there. That disappeared. I saw that. What? You got so quiet for a second. I was just like, I might be an exception for you. That it just disappeared. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> You're going to have to earn it, boy. You have to face off against 15 of my Vivasaurs. Five straight battles. Oh, God. What about the gay battles? If you survive until the end of this sudden death match, I'll give you the mask. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. Did you hear that? Saw it is going to battle. It put his mask on the line. Oh, wait. What was that? Did you hear oh, that, by the way? Did you see what he normally looks like? If you hear that, uh, he distinctly said, uh, uh, uh. Uh, easy level up. Fuck yeah. Then <sighs> sudden deathmatch. I don't know what it means, but it sure sounds exciting. Now, right, Jimbo? Are you ready now to watch, to enter the sudden deathmatch? Yeah. I brain blast. Well, clean up. <laughs> yes, that's the answer. I expect from a fight of your caliber. Right. Right. <laughs> oh, shit. A red. A red. <laughs> <laughs> Begin! A run! Run! Yes. <laughs> okay, oh, all, all, all plain. Hell yeah. Then I'm gonna put my boy up front. Who are you to judge? Uh, let's see, I'm gonna replace you. Cause fire is always run. better! I, I just love the entire concept of messing with someone's voice to say, to say things that like are completely nonsensical. A run! <laughs> or just the the videos with where they use Arnold's voice, where he goes. Ah, ah. Video where like they they're controlling the audio, but the audio is always playing. But you can choose which point of the audio you're at. Yeah, so you just fucking you just fuck with it the whole time. I I always wondered how you would. Imagine I think making you can do it with Audacity here. Yeah, but but like imagine doing it with like a um, like a character in a show. That, like you make the character and they actually talk like that. <laughs> what can I get? Shoot! <laughs> What'd you call me? Oh shit! A roar! <laughs> 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 Wait! Oh my god! That actually just reminded. What? I just came up with something. Imagine like a bandit base that like at during the day you see the guards like moving around. But then as soon as night happens, you expect, like, the guard change. But then the guards actually just end up going backwards in time. So, like, during the night, they go backwards, and then during the day, they go forward. That so they're caught would... in a time loop. So what, what would this superpower be called? Oh, you piece of called? shit! It did not give me experience! Fuck you! Time. Well, what would this... No, not time. Time for you to get a watch! VHS tape! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Turning it back! Yeah, it turns out there's a generator in the middle of the base that's just a giant VHS tape, and you just need to stop it with a pencil. End film. End film. <laughs> <coughs> what are you reading? Um... Teddy's. <laughs> it must be important. I read those every day. <laughs> A fortune teller, but I must read your tits. What do they say? You were born yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so what do they say? You have a great personality. You were born fucking yesterday. Uh, never mind. <laughs> I saw what I think is one of the greatest movies of all time. I saw a fish movie. I saw one of, what I believe to be one of the greatest movies of all time. It's called Kung Pao Enter the Fist. Enter the Fist? Yeah. And you know well, you know what it is? What? They took a movie, like an old like 60s martial art movie, and they redubbed over it in the 2000s. Where one of the main characters is now just a completely new person. <laughs> and they redubbed everything. Like one of the, uh, like his dojo master guy, he's walking through the courtyard to confront the main villain. And meanwhile, he's supposed to be like, in the actual film, he's like, so like, preparing himself mentally for the fight. And then in this new version, Taco Bell, Taco Bell, got to get that product placement for Taco Bell. <laughs> That's fucking awful. It's, 
honestly hilarious. There's a love interest, and the entire time that she's dubbed over, you know what she does? <laughs> like, she, like, says her lines and then instantly ends every single sentence with that. Whenever I see these, like, shitty dubs, I need to hear the, the fucking voice cast laughing their ass off in the background. <laughs> the bloopers, yeah. They, they did that at the end, like, at the credits we're playing. They played, like, them messing up, but, like, kept it as if it was actually, like, part of the movie. So like she, so like if she messed up her lines, she just just like, and I don't understand why I can't remember what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> and then there's also a, like a running joke throughout the movie that like she's super shy, but then instantly flashes the main character at every opportunity. <laughs> That's right. But it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, a highly fast gust of wind blows her shirt off and then back on instantly. <laughs> There's another character, she literally has a single tit in the middle that's giant. Ew. Yeah. But then she, she's just like, you need to defeat the villain, because then I could show up in the sequel. <laughs> <laughs> There's no sequel. <laughs> oh god, this game is still going. And they, th over the entire course of the movie, there's been this entire running joke that the main villain has these two spikes on his chest and they're the source of his power and the only way you can defeat him is by taking him off but they're like really hard to take off but they're like really hard to take off and then That's i was like a fucking stupid statement i i was wondering for so long why was this being set up it's because in the final fight of the original movie it's the original movie is the entire fight between the crane school and the and the tiger school okay crane attack yeah so they had to explain why the main character kept attacking him in a very specific way <laughs> wait wait, wait. So like, what, do you know, like what, crane? What, what, yeah i know i know the crane striking stuff but what what does that have to do with the spikes were the source of his power What's that have to do with the crane style? Be because they had to explain why he, with the old footage, they had to exp with the like the fight scenes and all that, they had to explain why he was attacking in that specific way. They never explained that he went to the crane school or whatever. They never did that. Just he had to learn how to grab the spikes with that w with that method. <laughs> oh my god! It's the stupidest movie ever, but it's amazing. Which fight are we on? This is number three or four? Four. No, oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, you're free to talk more. <laughs> there, there's also a superimposed in the courtyard area that's like where everybody just hangs out. There's just a Hooters sign. <laughs> <laughs> there's. <laughs> this movie sounds like it sucks. It's It sucks, but it's the best kind of suck. But, um... There was one moment where the main the main bad guy took over the over the village, and he's being like, like there's constantly like the the brown noser dude that like got his ass kicked, so now he listens to the main bad guy. No. And there's like there's some shots where he's just like, mm, I am a magician. Your shirt is now black, and it cuts to the <laughs> to the to the brown noser, and he's just like, oh wow, thank you. <laughs> and then he like stands up while he's monologuing, and then he. Right before the other guy Wait, appears I think on- I know what movie you're yes! talking about. And then right before he appears on camera again, he goes, YOUR SHIRT IS NOW RED! <laughs> YOUR SHIRT IS NOW RED! <laughs> In the beginning, he- the main villain tries to kill the, the protagonist while he's a baby, but the baby fights back. And it's like, very terrible CGI. Chiaotsu. <laughs> like, terrible. And then the baby ends up falling down a cliff. And it, like over and over recycled footage of a baby falling down a cliff for like two minutes. Recycled footage of a baby. Like very <laughs> obviously they a doll. They threw a doll. They yeah, threw a doll. Very obviously a doll. But then the baby falls in front of a woman, a farmer, who goes, "Oh, a baby!" She picks it up. Oh, hello. Bye bye. And throws him down the other side of the cliff. <laughs> like, <laughs> so he keeps falling again. <laughs> <laughs> so <Yeah>. stupid. <laughs> It's such a good movie. <laughs> it's watched, also I, I gotta replace you. You suck. I finally watched Shawshank Redemption. How the yeah. other night? And could uh, you tell that Morgan Freeman was Irish? No. <laughs>
I thought it was really funny that the movie starts off with with Red going like, "Yep, I liked him from the start." But the whole time you're looking at him, he's like giving him the fucking white boy stare. <laughs> <laughs> now read your lines, cause we finally got through all the five battles. I'm a oh, man, fighter, my battles. word. <laughs> so here's the mask right off my head. Use it well. Do you right, smell you what I'm cooking? Face reveal, guys. Face reveal. Oh my gosh, Starhead's gonna take his mask off. Oh, we're finally gonna see the true face of Sorehead! Please be another mask. How did you know? Here, you've earned it. Rawr, rawr. <laughs> His voice changes. We got the Zarbass! Here you go, Luigi! That's Sorehead? I'm in a bottom nation! <laughs> another mask is another mask! Hell yeah. Rawr! <laughs> <laughs> what? You need a mask for Dr. Diggins too? That's fair. You pulled out a pretty spectacular victory today, Mario. I mean, uh, Luigi. Working. So here's another mask. Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna take his mask off again. He's on the mask. He's back up. This time we'll see Sorehead's true face. I had a third one. It was all a lie! I'm just a dickhead! Yeah. <laughs> he takes it off, it's just a dick! Hey! <laughs> yeah. Dr. Oh, Diggins! Dr. Diggins, you can have this one! <laughs> all about 30 masks at a time! Right, right! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I gotta. Uh, the first thing that came to my mind is there's this fucking video of like a D&D &D group uh, and apparently they had this one shot where they were like a bunch of different animal folk or whatever. Yeah. And it's just like, it comes up, and, Alexander Hamilton, you got a lot of creepy people in your house. It's like, oh, what do you mean? What do you mean? Do you mean my friends? No, no, they're in the walls. They're in the walls. And it, it basically, he's just like, <laughs> what? They keep watching us all the time. And each of them coming in is like, yeah, they watch us. They watch us while we change and stuff. What? <laughs> but then it goes to, like, yeah, sometimes they stick stuff out. <laughs> and they, he said that it was a cookie, but it wasn't. What was it, boy? It was a penis. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you referencing? Bro? I have no idea what this is. <laughs> TNT game. <laughs> it's just so funny. I hope you didn't put it in your mouth. I did. I hope you spit it out. Uh, only after a while. <laughs> it was Creamfield. Uh. <laughs> well, now you gotta keep an eye out. There's somebody with a bloody penis out there. <laughs> Sawhead's the best. It must be super hot and comfortable at all those masks. But he still does it. And yay for not seeing Sawhead's face, but, but for learning some trivia about him. Yay. I'm going to fucking jail. <laughs> <laughs> the face, the fucking face of the gold mask. Oh, it fucking kills me. Kills you? Kills me. I don't think we can put it on right now. Yeah, you can. Oh! Can we be mistaken for the? He oh! <laughs> How do you tell her? Look at me. How could you oh, tell her I was British? <laughs> okay, now I have to play the rest of the game with this. Because it's green. Hurrah, hurrah. No, we're back to Green Man. Yeah. I can't believe you embarrassed me like this, Mario. Hey, hey Wacken. Oh, Dr. Diggins left a message. Why are you an ex smoker? <laughs> he said that when you get the mask to bring it down to the warehouse. It's over there. Yeah. <laughs> the warehouse is to the door to your left at the end of the hall. What the <laughs> fuck are you doing here? Halt! The area in Rivet Ravine that was off limits is open now. I got this strange feeling that it's full of ref fossils, just a hunch, but. We don't care, we got story to do. We don't care, as soon as we're done with this, then we're done with the story. Yeah! Guys? <laughs> I'm wearing a mask and can't tell where we are anymore. <laughs> where are you? Oh shit! And I'm so sorry! It's a, a dead and rare! I stay! <laughs> 
Hi, right, Wakan. Is the two saw mask you got there? Perfect. I'm all set here with my Game Boy Color Transporter. Here's your mask. Why does it smell? Does yours smell too? Yeah, yeah, it does. It smells the same. <laughs> Me earlier on pissing in his mask. <laughs> Me vomiting in the mask. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> here, this one's <laughs> yours. <laughs> oh god, I can smell your own vomit, boy. I opened up the teleportation device and found out the battery was dead. So I plugged it in, and now it works. You know me, I got to tinkering and ended up with totally rebuilding it. It's a little bigger now, but um... You know, it's a Game Boy! Whoa! I like Game Boys. <laughs> I love Game Boys. <laughs> <laughs> I put the giant D-pad everywhere. We should be able to visit the Dinorian spaceship as much as we want now. Okay, let's put on our disguises and sneak onto that ship. Wh what do you ready? think it'll look like with the dinosaur mask? Let's see! Yeah. Yes! <laughs> let's look at the mask! Damn, Dr. Diggins is... Okay, give me one of those saw masks. Pack him. <laughs> My dad. It'll take some effort not to crack up laughing in these things, but we should get caught, like, immediately. <laughs> You appropriating my culture. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's get in the teleportation device. It's like we get caught even faster than like, oh, you're just some humans that like you you forgot to turn off your stuff. Excuse me, human. That is extremely culturally insensitive. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we don't actually look like that anymore. We do, we evolved to not have all sharp teeth. Let's go. Here we go. You guys ready to explore the ship? No. Next time. Oh, yeah. Wow. <gasps> Jinzu. Good! We're all in one piece. We are! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Did I mention there was a danger of permanent discorporation? Dun, dun, what does that mean? Dun, 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 dun. Uh, death. Ah, oh, you guys again. Finally got rid of those stupid disguises, I see. What are we doing? <laughs> uh, I don't know what it is, but there's something strange about your faces. Are you sure you're, you didn't catch some bizarre human disease down on there? <laughs> you what? gotta muffle why, your voice! What? Why, yes, actually. That's exactly what happened. It's called, um, weird face tits. <laughs> <laughs> they say it's really contagious. <laughs> oh, are you smelling nice? <laughs> <laughs> you. Oh, you. You! Okay. Read your line, hey, bitch. Oh, that, that was you. Oh, you're the Dinorian. Do do everyone a favor and get over to the sick bay right away. <coughs> oh no, I got it. Go. <laughs> yeah, he's wrapped him. Oh yeah. Thank goodness the fear of cooties is apparently universal, eh? Uh -huh. got some crazy space aids. Let's go. <laughs> there must be some real freaks up here. <laughs> Yeah, we'll be discovering, we'll be see exploring this ship next time. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe. What? You just broke the floor. All right. It was dirt I mean, I, from the tile glass. I like tile the idea of <laughs> steel. I like the idea of you doing that to the window, and it just instantly burst open, and everybody gets sucked out. Game over. <laughs> well, thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe for more. We'll catch you next time. Are you excited to talk more, Jinzu? I'm excited to die. <laughs> I just chucked this at you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Die! There's cash on here! I'm killing the conquistadors! I am channeling the conquistadors! Give me that stick! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Die!